Hey guys, it's Darn Ridge with That Darn Realtors Team. We're at the Keller Williams office right here in downtown Chattanooga. And we're talking about the five things you need to know before you start searching for your home. We talked about knowing your budget, about knowing yourself, and this, really, we probably should have put this up at number two. You've got to know your spouse, and your spouse has to know you, okay? We get to so many houses with, with, uh, with, uh, with buyers, and one person walks in, loves the house, the other walks in and goes... Let's leave now. Get back in the car. And then there's this conflict and these hard feelings. And that's really that can be really hard to come back. And oftentimes, that'll stall the buying process, the searching process, a good two weeks until we get all that worked out. Okay, what are we going to give on? What are we going to take on? You know, sometimes we work with a situation where one, one partner wants to move in the house right away and it be moving ready. But the other wants a lot of equity and wants to buy something that a little bit of elbow grease uh, can add a lot of equity to the situation. Those aren't the same thing. You can't get both of those at the same time. That's an impossible situation, and we'll never find the house for you if that's what we're looking for. So to really help your realtor out and to make the search situation as effective as possible and as stress-free as possible, you really need to be communicating and discussing with each other. What are the things that are most important? You know, is, is this entertainment space more important than having the space to have a workshop? Is... You know, the kitchen more important or is the living room more important? Or do you really want that huge master room? Is having a, a media room really important? What is it that's important to both of you or one of you? What are the things that you're not willing to budge on? And what are the things that you're willing to do, you know, have a concession on? Have those discussions before you really start to look at houses. And it'll save a lot of trouble and a lot of stress in that search process. Because I promise you, there's nothing worse than going and finding that house where one person thinks it's perfect and the other would just rather, you know, forget about that house altogether. So knowing each other and having those discussions before you ever start the search process is a great way to find the perfect home quickly and make sure that there's as little stress as possible during the search process and no fighting between you while you're doing the search.